In this video, we are going to be looking at a series of reports relating to estimates. To start off, let's go up to the top. We'll open up Reports, down to Estimate, and slide over. The first four reports we will take a look at are the Converted Estimate Reports. First one is Converted Estimates. Before we preview this report, we're going to hit Show Detail, and we will select All, just because this is a test data set and we do not have a lot of information in it. Then preview. So this is the report for converted estimate. As we can see, we have two estimates here that have been converted. It shows contact, station, entered by, etc. We'll exit out. Back to reports. The next report is converted by customer. Same thing, show all, and preview. Here we can see the two estimates that were converted by the customer. We can see the customers, Bob's Lawn Care, and Walk-In. We'll exit out. The next one we will look at is converted by entered by. Here we can see two estimates, and they have both been entered by Carter Max. I want to take a look at the last one in this group, converted by primary salesperson. So here we can see different salespeople that were used, or sales accounts in this case. For one of our contacts, walk-in, we have our account house, and the other one, we have our administrator system. We can see entered by both Carter Max. Now let's take a look at the pending estimate reports. We'll go up to reports, and down to estimate, and over to pending estimate reports. Let's start with pending estimates. Go to date, click show detail, all, hit preview. As you can see, this simply shows all the estimates that are pending. See the status, it says pending below. Next, let's go to reports, down to estimate, over to pending estimate reports, and over to pending by customer. And preview. Now these are all the estimates that are pending by customer. You'll see Nick's bait and tackle above and Subway below. Next let's go to reports, down to estimate, over to pending estimate reports, and down to pending entered by. Now these are simply estimates sorted by who they are entered by. All these estimates were entered by Max Carter, so there's only one column. Next, let's go to reports. Down to estimates. Over to pending estimate reports and over to Pending by Primary Salesperson. As you can see, these are estimates sorted by their primary salesperson. As there is only one primary salesperson, account house, there is only one section. Let's go back up to Reports and down to Estimate. Over to Pending Estimate Reports and the last one, pending by station. Again, let's open up the preview. Now here are all the estimates that are pending. and They are sorted by station. As you can see, the station of the first is pending hot. Station of the second, there is no station. The third, pending cold. Fourth, none. Fifth, sixth, and seventh are all none also. All right, let's exit out of these to give us some room. So 
So we'll start off by moving back up to reports again, down to estimate, and now we're going to be taking a look at lost estimate reports. First one is your main one. Preview. Here you can see all the estimates that were lost. Company. Here we see lost. Let's exit out. Let's go back to reports now. Next one is lost by customer. Here we can see the customer that has lost the estimate. Walmart. Exit out. As you can see, there's kind of a pattern. There's a main report, and there is slight modifications on the main report. For example, as we have been looking at the lost estimate reports, lost estimates was the main report, and then there's simple modifications. Lost by customer, and the next one is lost by entered by. Preview this one. Here we can see that this estimate was lost and it was entered by Carter Max. Exit out. Next one is lost by primary salesperson. Here we can see two estimates. Here we can see one estimate that's lost and it shows a salesperson, Carter Max. Exit out. I'm going to do the last one, Lost by Station. Here we see there's one estimate that was lost, and the station for this one was, well, none, no station. But if it had selected a station, for example, maybe a hot or cold station, it would have said hot or cold right here, because this report sorts estimates by station. We'll exit out. Let's go up to reports again, and down to estimate, and over to avoided estimate reports. Let's take a look at the first. Now as you can see, these are all the estimates that were voided. As you can see, the status is void. Let's go back up to reports down to estimate and over to avoided estimate reports again and by customer now. Now let's open up another preview. These are all the estimates that were voided by the customer. Let's go back up to reports and down to estimate and over to avoided estimate reports. Voided by entered by. Let's open up a preview again. Now here are all of the estimates that are avoided by the person who entered them. Next let's go up to reports and down to estimates and over it avoided by primary salesperson. These are all estimates that were voided by the primary salesperson. Let's go back up to reports, down to estimates, over to voided estimate reports, over to voided by disposition. Again let's open a preview with all of these estimates. Here are all of the estimates that are voided by disposition. All right, let's exit out of some of these, give us some room. Two more reports we're gonna take a look at. Let's go back to reports, estimate, more estimate analysis reports. We'll open up estimate analysis by entered by, and preview. Here we can see estimates written between two specific dates. We can see who they're entered by, Carter Max, and four columns, written, converted, lost, and voided. 
Now let's look at our last report. Reports. And now estimate analysis by primary salesperson. And then select your salesperson. Scroll down. We'll select Carter Max and preview. Here you can see now it's by the primary salesperson, Carter Max, and we can see all the ones that are written, converted, lost, or voided by him. We see number of estimates, zero for converted, however there are three for written, one for lost, and two for voided. Those are reports you can look at when dealing with estimates.